Hello everyone, I'm Communist Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, the beginning of a new campaign. And as you can tell, probably from the thumbnail, probably from the title, we're playing as a certain nation that's very united, we'll say. But anyways, this is not going to be a normal campaign, and I'm going to be exploring some of the La Resistance mechanics in this campaign, and maybe help some people out, or maybe people will help me out. So, I've got a weird world for the Soviets to play as. So... Basically, we're going to have Japan and the United States go communist, or as communist as possible, while everyone else either goes historical if they're a dominion of the UK, while everyone else in Europe is going to go fascist. That's the scenario that we have. Hopefully it doesn't turn out terrible. Um, this is this everything. And also the Chinese are going to go like alternate historical and then alternate for the communist Chinese to see what happens. And then Chukuo, then Chukuo, Ku goes a little weird. So, and Mexico is going to have... A weird time. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So, as the Soviet Union, I decided to play as them. Because I would like to play as a major nation every time there's a new DLC. For example, in Man the Guns, I play as the United States to explore the naval mechanics that I actually understand fairly okay. With the La Resistance DLC, I figured, you know what, what's a good espionage country? Maybe the Soviets. Maybe not. So we'll see what happens. Let's see. These divisions already tell me that... Oh, you're garrisons. You're kind of garrisons. The military police on those guys aren't bad, actually. You guys, you need military police on these guys. So, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to pull you guys off. You're going to be Coast Guard divisions. We're going to take off the military police because we don't need them on them. Take off all the tanks. And like normal, ooh, we've got cavalry divisions, of course. You guys are, you know what, put you down here. Now, some people like to use nothing but infantry and light tanks. Which is cool. I'm not like one of those people. I like having medium tanks like everyone else and stuff like that. But for these Coast Guard divisions, they can be led by someone who's not super great. Because they're just going to be sitting there like Rodion Malinovsky. Because he's politically connected, he's an old guard, so he is the perfect candidate for being a person that I really don't care about. Hmm. Cool. Let's do that. Guard all these territories. I will make sure that we got enough Coast Guards eventually. And edit this division just a wee bit. Very good, very good. And make sure we don't forget about Asia, because if we forget about Asia, that's not going to be good. Also, I did say I want Japan to go communist, but I want them to be, like, independent communists, like, not to deal with us. But, so, here's what we're going to do. We're going to rush down the Great Purge path, but we're going to go to war with Finland as fast as possible. Maybe, if that's possible. I want to get rid of the Great Purge as much as I love political power. Uh, this tree is really disappointing after playing as Spain, France, Germany, and the United States. But whatever. You can finish a five-year plan, but I really hate the Great Purge. So, there's a dangerous Trotsky plot brewing among the officers, even in the highest ranks. Though Trotsky's personal involvement remains unknown, the threat is great. The USSR could be even thrown into another civil war unless we are prepared to break some eggs. And we have a good time, and... Oh, we get much less research speed for 583 days. Which actually isn't that bad. Actually, that's not too bad. Cool, what are we going to do? Upgrades, no. Operations are medium. Garrisons are in high, because if you don't do that, you're kind of screwing yourself. Uh, what do we want to research? So, or, no, research. We're making divisions here. Infantry looks pretty good. Also, I want to let you know that I have set up the world because... Well, actually, one of my mods on my Discord, which you should totally go check out if you haven't already, basically told me how I should set up the world and what doctrines I should use. So, let's talk about doctrines. Right now, is it worth doing this? Because we're going to go down mobile warfare for funsies. Assault doctrine, we're going to get rid of that eventually. Not worried about it. But let's just do some of this. Get some construction stuff. And let's get some electronic engineering. Pretty normal stuff. Uh, outdated equipment. Oh my goodness, look at all these garbage ships. You know what? They're so garbage. Do I have anything good here? That's garbage. That's trash. Trash. Subs? Eh, they could be pretty effective. Level 1, level 1, level 1, level 1, level 1, Oh my goodness, you know what? Just make all the garbage for now. We'll put them someplace. And subs are special because they can get around uh, blockades. But speaking of ships, what we're going to do is pretty much let everyone come to Leningrad, I suppose. Because that's probably where we have a lot of things going on. Excuse me. Uh, where's Leningrad? There you are. Just, just all come to Leningrad except for subs. I want subs down here in the Black Sea. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Even though... Oh god, these subs are so garbo. 
so guardable. And we'll be focusing... Oh, if we do naval stuff, we will be focusing on... Carriers. I almost never focus on carriers. I love battleships so much that I probably use them too much in my campaigns. But this time, we'll, we'll I'll do some uh, battleships. But we're going to focus heavily on carriers. Let's see, 40, 40, 60, good. And that's pretty much all we can do. Let's go ahead and start getting an intelligence agency. And we will use it the NKVD. Pretty normal, pretty easy. Uh, oh, ah, perfect. Oh, no. Actually, let's use the default one. That looks really cool. Ah, screw it. We'll do that one. Create an agency. Awesome. We'll do that. Military factories. What are we going to use military factories for? Artillery is nice. I want anti-air. I'm already going to go ahead and do anti-air because I never use it. Do we have anti-tank? We do not have anti-tank. Oh, and we need some armored cars for resistance. You gotta get armored cars. If you don't get armored cars, you, you're not going to set yourself up to do well. Artillery. You, we'll use a little bit of artillery. Not too much. Really, the focus is going to be on tanks. And support companies, to a degree. Strat bombers. I like strat bombers, but tactical bombers, in my opinion, are just a little better. They're more versatile. Uh, do that. Do that. And there you go. Cool. No template for anti-air, interwar cars, whatever. No one cares. Now, all ships. Let's see. You got subs. You got your, these guys. You got some more subs. Three up there. Three up there. Just combine all these guys together. I really don't want to deal with them. Cool. Uh, throw you right there. There you go. Cool. And let's let time go on to let things happen. Oh, hey, hold on. Before we do that, though, before we do that, can I send volunteers to Ethiopia? We can get some early XP. That sounds like fun. So, we probably want some mountaineers. Pull them out. Let's see. Who do we have? The 24 combat width, which isn't ideal, but, you know, they're not bad. How many can I send to... Ethiopia and some planes. Don't forget planes. We can send a total of two divisions, so that's one too many. Pull you down. Thank you. You shall be led by who? Ooh, Vasily Chuikov. Looks pretty good. Oh, Markian Popov. Sounds pretty good. You're politically connected. I don't like you. Ah, let's go with Vasily. Very nice. Send some volunteers. Let's piss off the Italians as much as possible. And let an hour go. Thank you. And what about planes? What can we do down here? We can send a total of 20 planes. Speaking of planes, I know I'm taking a while to get this started, but you know, it is what it is. Scrap them all. But not really. Just put them away. Put them away. Uh, fighter ones, that's good. Tactical bombers. Interwar bombers, whatever. Uh, even naval bombers are pretty good. I don't know if the Italians have a lot of planes, but I'm going to send fighters. Oh, wait. Yeah. Ah, oh, the fifth column. The persecution of enemies of the people. Those who have perverse or subversive revolution has been ongoing policy since the party came to power. The internal power struggles that followed have shifted our focus, and purging the party ranks themselves can be given more emphasis since Trotsky's exile. Stalin has made himself an icon, but at the cost of making many real enemies and innumerable imaginary ones. Having seen the worst of internal power struggles, the general secretary is prone to act on the slightest suspicion. Being purged from the party means imprisonment or death. Dark times lie ahead for those who show disloyalty. Just a bit too much loyalty to seem credible. Are Zinoviev and his ilk still in touch with Trotsky? Maybe. I don't know. Not my problem. Well, actually, it is kind of our problem. Whatever. Cool. Cool, we got an agency coming along. I still need to reorganize our divisions here because... Oh, we have a motorized guy. Honestly, the way... Whenever, whenever I play as the Soviet Union, I almost always get my motorized division killed off. Happens. And honestly, this is too many factories. Too many factories. Too many light tanks for me. They're not bad. Actually, they're pretty good. But this is too many for me. I uh, know this is this is heretical for what I'm about to do. I'm going to convert him to this. Just throw some more guys over there. Cavalry. I love the cavalry, but uh, if I'm mostly going to be using cavalry for garrisons, which we'll do in a little bit. So, let's divide you guys up to 24. Good. Now, let's speed up to speed 2. Cut you guys in half. Uh, very nice. Get you guys in half. Good. And take out five more. Put you right there. Cool. One, two, three, four. Full armies. Led by a good field marshal. 
Oh, good enough. Oh, good. God, you're all old guards. And some of you are even politically connected. You're almost all politically connected. Mikhail? Oh, you're aggressive assault. I like that. Oh, I love I love more breakthroughs so much. Hmm. You guys join them there. Not bad. Pretty good. If this is the case, someone guard against the Finns. Someone guard against the Poles. Someone guard against you guys. I'm gonna, uh... This isn't really good at concentrating everyone here like this. Uh, before we move on, though, what are you guys? You guys are fighting in... These are plains. I was hoping that there'd be mountains. There's some mountains around here. Or hills. Not too many, actually. So, you guys are gonna come over here, actually. Put you down there, thank you. You're gonna be at the Asian Theater, just in case if we need it. And... You guys can guard against... Oh, I don't know. The Turks? I could go out to take out Iran early, but I don't want to go to war until we have uh, this purge done. Once the purge is done, then I'll go straight for war against the Finns. So, that'll be fun. Uh, how's this going? We have... Oh. They have absolute air superiority. That's a lot of superiority. Okay, then. What if I said we could do something like that? Send these guys over there... Give them a little bit more guns. How is garrisons? Because with garrisons, we're doing okay. We have no no problems. Civilian oversight. Yeah, I'm going to need some army XP. And that's why I sent these guys to Ethiopia. Good. You know, we could be led by another field marshal. No, they're all trash. I don't want to promote anybody yet. Pretty good. Oh, wow, Ethiopia. You're not doing very well. If I lose two divisions, whatever. You know. Ah, NKBD. Beautiful. Now, I do want to make as much of this as possible, but it is important to do this. Cryptology? Well, we can't do anything about that. But we can do something about it, because we can form our department. Good, that costs like eight civilian factories. And we only have 94 factories in total. Hmm, not ideal. Are you guys not moving up? Uh, that's kind of odd. Whatever. Cool, whatever. Actually, Ethiopia, you're doing kind of well down here. That's pretty cool. Can you guard here, perhaps? I thought you guys were moving. Yeah, I got a little bit of air XP. That's kind of nice. Uh, am I making more planes? I am making more planes. That's good. Anti-air, interwar armored car. Very good. Gonna need a lot of this. Gonna need a lot of that, though. Holy cow. Lower that by one. Lower that by one. That'd be fine for now. That'd be good. That'd be good. I can't wait till my guys get attacked so we can actually do, do something about it. But we gotta make sure we don't lose Addis Abba. Ababa. Cool. We get about 9, 0.94 political power a day. We get more resources, and we're getting attacked immediately. Oh, civilian! Oh, we can go. We can go automatically to war economy. I thought that was nerfed. I thought we, that was changed. Oh, we have an agent too. Next up, passive defense sounds good. Government cipher schools. We can get more ciphers more quickly. I do want to get collaboration governments eventually. Uh, radio interception group, decryption power. Uh. Sure, we'll do that one, why not? And, immediately, let's see. Oh, this is Hungarian. Nice, Hungary. German, Richard Sorg. What is that, double double agent? Turn from the enemy into our service. Cool, infiltrator. I like that idea. So, instead of garrisoning our area for now, what if we did... You know, let's do the pol... Not the poles, the fins. Because I want to take... I really want to take them out. I really want to take them out. Uh, cryptology... Finland. 960 days, that's quite a while, but that's okay. We're not going to go to war really very soon. Oh, the trial of the anti-Soviet Trotsky Center. Despite Leon Trotsky being forced into exile, Joey Stahl fears that he has secret supporters within the party. A series of rapid arrests and brutal interrogations have yielded confessions and testimonies conveniently pointing to some of Stalin's rivals, however. The more questions are asked and the deeper the secret police delves into letters and journals, the more people are implicated, if indirectly. Party members are beginning to believe that Stalin's absolute power and the death of his wife has isolated him to the point where he perceives anyone as a threat, but isn't that exactly what a traitor might say? So, we can got Kalininen, which removes our stability, which we don't like. Khrushchev, we get less daily communist support. I mean, we're kind of okay with communism for now. Does anyone else give us more communism? Nikita? Uh, Nikita. Ooh, Prince of Terror. Actually, I like Prince of Terror because damage to garrisons goes way down. That actually is better. Ooh, we get an elusive gentleman as well. Radex, confession, points to several people. Uh, you know what, just get rid of him. Because why not? Cool. 
We got plenty of supplies except for a rubber, which is pretty normal. All right, please give me as much army XP as possible. You're holding out very well. Just go ahead and retreat here because uh, things ain't looking so good around here. Retreat into the mountains, please. Thank you, thank you, because we're losing here just a wee bit. Uh, go ahead. And these are 24 combat with, which I need to make 20 combat with instead. That's fine. If they lose, we can still dig in here a little bit, so that's not bad. Mm, it feels like I'm forgetting something. Oh, electronic, mechanical engineering. Let's get mechanical computing for more research speed because we only have three research slots, unfortunately. I know it's terrible. Terrible. Uh, actually, for you guys, I want a lot of infantry on these guys. I want a lot. Oh, hello. Italy, you've come up here quite quickly. Hmm. I could remove this. They become a little weaker, but they become better combat with. Ah, uh, government cipher schools. Let's go ahead and grab blueprint stealing, anti-partisan. That's good for rooting out re resistance. Ah, uh, it's only five. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's do that. We have enough manpower that I feel okay about it for now. Are you guys getting attacked? You're not getting attacked. You're still moving, which is good. This is going to take a lot of hits from different areas, so that's why I want to keep these guys here if we possibly can. That'd be good. Yeah, grind out some of that XP. Hurt the Italian boys. Ooh, yeah, the front's getting smaller and smaller by the day. Yeah, make them hurt. Get them hurt. That's good. Improved working conditions is good, but uh, that war economy is just too good to pass up early on. Just too good, man. Ooh, no template. That's okay. I need a lot of guns. Holy cow. Tons and tons and tons and tons of guns. Oh, now we're losing here. But now we're winning. Second London Naval Treaty sign. Great. Government cipher schools. Radio interception group for more decryption now. That'll be, yeah, that'll help with uh, getting po Poland stuff, getting Finland stuff. So, secret trial of the generals. The Red Army has always been home to subversive elements ever since Trotsky himself was Commissar of War. Documents acquired by the NKVD have implicated several high-ranking officers, not only as traitors, but spies. Mikhail T. is among the most prominent of the suspects, and one Stalin is keen to get rid of the army. Of oh, get rid of, yeah. Meanwhile, the Navy's frequent contact with foreigners has led to many of them being arrested as well. Although there are documents from our enemies proving their guilt, there is no telling if they fabricated them, or if they were given false information by those who wanted this purge in motion to begin with. I don't like removing him just because... He's actually not a bad field marshal. He's actually pretty good. We lose army defense guy, division speed guy... Uh, yeah. Increased purge penalty... Rokowski, how do you say his name? Army XP gain... A decisive guy. Armor genius. Subs. Four people stop being generals and naval commanders. Ah, just do him. Screw it. Cool. And I'm going to go disperse because I feel like it. Awesome. Yeah, honestly, if they lose a capital and while we still own this, that that's okay with me because if I lose, if like Ethiopia has a capital and that's it, and our soldiers there, they die, but if they take the capital without our soldiers there, we, our soldiers, I think, get returned home, which is pretty good. I'm pretty sure they get returned home. Very nice, very nice. Oh, look at our factories. They went way low. Rhineland has been remilitarized. So be it. Because we're taking a while to do. Cryptology level 3, actually. You need agency with three different branch upgrades to become a spy master. Because that's really helpful. Hey, look. Look at all that XP. Good. Now you're actually a good combat width. And you... I need to become a little bigger. I could use artillery, but I'm going to focus mostly on infantry, just guns for these guys. Mm, very nice, very nice. Very good, very good. I could focus on defense. This is good stuff. We need three branches, so we're going to go with more passive defense, because let's be real, the Germans are going to start, you know, figuring out what we're doing. You're okay? Now I'm joined here with my cat, uh, a Soviet Binky. He's having a good time, and... Seems like he wants to leave. Ah, oh, construction one. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, we need better artillery. Could do land auction, but let's grab weapons and equipment. And then maybe focus on our navy or air force. But let's go ahead and grab war economy. This shouldn't hurt us too, my, too badly, but we do get more factories, which is very, very nice. Double check this real quick to see what's going on. Trial of the 21. Alright, my apologies. Binky didn't want to, uh, you know, listen to me about the trial of the 21. So after several rounds of arrests and trials, the Great Purge was weaved a narrative that led up to this trial. Among those accused are not only old leaders like Nikolai Bukharin, 
but a number of diplomats, politicians, military officials, and even many high-ranking NKVD officers. The charges are also more extensive than previously, including decades-old plots to murder Soviet leaders and sell the Union to its enemies. The fact that the NKVD themselves are now among the targets of the purge has, it, in a sense, brought the proceedings in full circle. Threats and beatings have led to many confessing to all charges, even the most outlandish ones. The leading defendants face execution. See the Air Force and Navy. Oh, I lose a Prince of Terror. Oh, no. No. As we suspected, enemies are everywhere. Uh, I don't mind losing the naval and air reformers. Yeah, I don't want to lose the Prince of Terror because I, I want to see how well I can use him. This has gone too far. Let's lead to a civil war. Enemies are everywhere. Glorious. Glorious. Good. My guys, my mountaineers. It's always... There they go. See, exactly. They capitulated. Mountaineers are pretty good. And because they weren't in the capital, they did not get destroyed instantly. But we have another event coming up, which will probably land in Spain. In which they probably won't have a good time. That's okay, though. That's okay. Let's see. Updated equipment. Yeah, just need more guns. Everything else is really good. Black shirts organized in the UK. Now, that's an awesome picture. You know what I love? I love using the mod Colored Events. That's really black. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, the Great Purge is almost done. Great. Great. Uh, and our soldiers are returned, are, are returned already home. Level 4, or level 4 attack, but he's level 2, really, and he's learned quite a bit. Passive defense. Very good. Next up, we should go grab... This takes forever, if this is okay. Operative recruitment choices. Localized training centers. Let's go with something that's cheap. Interrogation techniques. Enemy operative chance... Operative ch capture chance, and we get another spy very soon. Ah, oh, I love it. Very good, very good, very good. So... Like I said, I want to really emphasize anti-air, because the Axis is going to use a ton of planes, and they use anti-air, and I never really use it, so I want to try it. I want to get anti-tank as well. A lot of anti-tank, and that's why I'm playing as the Soviets, because their industry should be pretty good by the time we go to war with the German Reich. And I forget, did I go with historical or not? Well, I've already altered, like, every nation, so they probably didn't go historical. Can I send you volunteers? Oh, good. Seven volunteers. You know what? You just came from home from Ethiopia. How about, instead of tanks, I really don't care about using tanks too much. I want a lot of infantry. You know what? Give me a tank. Give me a single tank division, too. There you go. Send volunteers. Now, I have put it, if you were paying attention closely in the beginning, that uh, I want the Nationalists to win. But we'll see what happens. 219, not bad. Where are those planes? There you are. Raise you up to 100, because you've done really well. Get up here. Do that. And we're going to try to kill off all the enemy planes as much as possible. Another 100 fighters. That'll be important. Good. We're going to have a great time, hopefully, in Spain. we got plenty of fuel. we got plenty of manpower. Plenty of supplies. And maybe... I don't know. I don't know how Republican Spain turns out, because I haven't played it yet. Do they... Be, really become a puppet of ours if they win. Oh, get purchase done! Glorious! It's done! Now we can do rehabilitated military, which gives us more recovery rate and reinforce rate, and military reorganization or NKVD primacy for less subversive activities costs and another operative slot, as well as better reinforce rate. Honestly, it sounds like this is better. I wish I could take rehabilitated military and NKVD divisions, because getting a land auction is okay, but whatever. So, we're going to go ahead and choose finish the five-year plan. The second five-year plan prioritizes the development of heavy industry. The Soviet Union must also quickly, or develop quickly, in order to match the capitalist and fascist powers of the West. And at the same time... Let's do this. If Spain dies, I don't care. I really don't. And they shouldn't be guaranteed by anybody because it's only 12% world tension. Even though they're probably pretty strong, and oh yeah, they got a lot of defense and attack on core territory. But, uh, they don't have a lot of manpower, which is good. They have like 24 divisions, which is okay. Interrogation? Great, we have another spy. Wait, what, what, what am I doing? Defense? No. What do we want? Plastic suicide pills? Uh, let's do it. Radio interception, just because I want to not use too many civilian factors. I want to build myself up as much as possible. What is this? Boost ideology, stage coup, control, diplomatic pressure, target, own operative detection chance factor. Minus 10%, that's commando's pretty good. Oh. Yevgeny, Surkov, seducer. Mwah, mwah. So, you, you're gonna help me out in Finland. Uh, actually, maybe not, because that's the only area where you can really do, and you don't get too much of a bonus if you go here. Well, maybe you do. No, you only get 50%, so go somewhere else. 
go to... Let me do Nationalist Spain for now. We could try that. But we just need a lot of guns. Ah, the divisions have arrived in Iberia. Glorious. Alright, so what are we going to do? That's a good question. What are we going to do? I could help out here. I could help out down here. I think it might be best if I focus on this area to cut off the Nationalists right here. Now, they probably have a modifier, a time bomb. It's basically going to be a time bomb. To the point where the anarchists might uprise. And no one likes anarchists. No one. The anarchists almost don't even like themselves. Angered by finished posturing? Good. You should be pissed off by ang by those postures. Posturing people. Can we attack here and do, do well? They are attacking. Or, the number's not going up or down. Well, it got, went up a little bit. And they can't pierce our tanks. Games of the Olympiad. We're doing okay-ish. They're very strong. They're very quite strong. Wait, they have zero hard attack, zero soft attack. We're close enough to zero. Hmm. Interesting. And go right there and we can probably kill all these divisions off. Good, you guys have almost made it here, which is great. Oh, look at that XP. Very good. Uh, what is our production of light tanks? Looking pretty darn nice. Throw in one more. Make them even better. Ah, radio interception group. Very good. A blue steel blueprint risk. Plastic explosives. A civilian and economy. Commando training sounds pretty good to me. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we're getting attacked here. Very good. Could I do a little bit more? I'm not going to do, you know, force attack because that won't, wouldn't really help us too much. Then again, attacking, defending in Spain can be kind of a pain. But whatever. You know, whatever. Finish the five-year plan. Tarotsky at Plot Purge. And, of course, one of our agents has already been killed in Finland. Well, so much for that. Now you get to go to Finland, or Helsinki, and have a good time. Good luck. Give him a little smooch for me. Mm. Oh, you guys are doing okay. you uh, done pretty darn well. Uh, help support the attack there. And if you want to do support attack, you got to... Let's see. Right click with control on the, the little bubble. Hmm. You learn new things every day. Oh yeah, we still need tons of military factories. Very good. And I could make more military factories, but eh, whatever. Actually, how's air superiority here? We're doing well over there. Go ahead and do this area. Oh. Do we not have air superiority over... Oh! Well, duh. I should probably give them missions. They'll probably do okay, then. Commando training, very nice. I could become a spy master. I kind of want to save it. I do want to get maybe no. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Foreign subversive activities efficiency. Daily communism. Oh, this is a guy. Not too bad. I should get one of these guys from our army XP game. We'll probably do that. But then again, having more spies is really good. Let's go and do that. I'm a spy master. Get two more. I love being a spy master. Good, and this guy, this group hasn't capitulated yet. Nice. Very good. Uh, mechanical computing. More research speed. Yes, please. Let's get some better reinforce rate. I'm purposely ignoring the land doctrine for now, because it's going to take 188 days. That's not, that's not bad. Get some better artillery. Let's see. Get some planes, perhaps? 1936? Focus more on tactical bombers. I could get scout planes, but eh, it's okay. Ah, oh, finish a five-year plan. Nice. More civilian factories. Four more in total. Now, military factories, collectivist propaganda. Now, I forget. I don't exactly remember. Which path is better to go? Down positive heroism or collectivist propaganda? You get 20% more stability, slightly more population, a little more construction speed. Women can become pilots. Uh, a little more rubber, political power, infrastructure, research slot. But down here, you can get Rokovsky and Zukov if you need it. Research speed, much more population, research slot, and kamikaze strikes. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the armament effort. So, if you can build tractors, you can build tanks. We must not allow our military production capacity to lag behind. So, please let me know in the comments below whether I should choose positive heroism or collectivist propaganda. Either way, I like both. And any day now, we shall break these nationalists. They are very strong. Ah, there you go. 
Oh, and we're leading with their tanks. That's good. And we have another spy. Good. Tough to kill off enemy operatives. Alexander Radao. Stage coup. Uh, Ella. Uh, we're let's let's get him. That looks pretty good. Let's go back to Spain. Let's try that. See what happens. All right, come on, come on. Is that yeah? It's Republican Spain. Come on. It's only two divisions. They're not that strong. Mohammed is not that strong. Vasily, come on, you got this. I should probably use some close air support or something. Oh, we can build more stuff. Yes. Build, 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 build. It's like building a bear, but we're building a Soviet bear. Um, fifty percent. I like fifty percent, but sometimes I prefer seventy percent. Fifty, 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 forty. Ooh. Hmm. Wow, even these hills are... 60. 60. Yes, please. Just keep making as many factories as possible, because that's going to come in handy. Oh, good. They're very strong. I think my divisions are pretty... Probably not very good, so... Angered by finished posturing, and I will leave this... The Republican Spaniards to die if I have to. Whatever. It is what it is. It pains me to leave you, but... I have to. Wow, they even threw in more divisions, perhaps? There you go. Lower them just by a little bit. Ah, send a division here to help out, because why not? And are you on... You're on high. That's good. Good stuff. Garrisons. We don't need garrisons. Reinforcements are good. Upgrades. We definitely need those. Hey, we did it! We did it! Hip, hip. Hooray! There you go. These guys are cut off. Now they still have... Is that Badajoz? Badajoz? Which gives them some supply, but overall, that's not going to be good for the Nationalist Front. Oh, look, another spy. Sergei. Elena. Oh, I gotta go for Elena. Ah, I love Elena. Hmm. Hmm. I could do Germany, but I want a German spy to do Germany. Bohemia, France, Italy. Um... Ah, uh, just do, I guess do Germany. Do Brandenburg. See what happens. If you die, Elena, you die, you know. Things happen. <laughs> things happen. Cool. Go ahead and go over the river if we can. Very nice. Oh, look, they're panicking. I love it when they panic. You move over here. Could you... Since you're doing that, you might as well come there, I suppose. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes, let them attack. Do not let us get encircled. That would be very bad. Help take him out, help take him out. Very good, my friends, very good. Ah. Oh. Awesome. No, oh, just keep him in place for now. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, Vasily. You're not supposed to get that close to the Battle of Vasily. Yeah, do we have any other guys? You're still defending. We're killing off these. There's like 12 divisions here. Nice. That's some good stuff. They're trying to break out, but you know what? I say no, and then you got an upgrade! You level 5 attack, great! Infantry expert, yes please. Um, that's actually ins really, really good. I'm not going to say insanely good, but you know, it's still pretty darn good. Uh, I love Mountaineers. Actually, we got a little bit of army XP here. So what are we going to do with you? You're actually looking pretty darn good, not going to lie. Uh, we want motorized recon, because that gives you, like, the most recon. Well, actually, light armored recon gives you that. But you need armored cars, which we should have quite a bit of, actually. Light armored cars give you quite a bit more recon. Armored is okay. Motorized is okay. These, pretty good. Pretty good. And before we move on, end the episode, let's make sure that we use our cavalry appropriately. Because these are the guys that will be the garrisons. And I know I could do this later on. I could edit more divisions right now first. But I want to make sure that I do things as right as possible. So these guys are going to guard the area. They have only 12 suppression. That's okay. We're going to throw on an armored car for even more. Because we don't need them yet. But we will in time. And before we move on, let's make sure we set it so that infantry is not guarding. But these cavalry divisions are. And I, think, and I believe the lower the number... For manpower per suppression is generally better, even though production costs might go up higher. But that is where we're going to leave it off for today, my friends. 
we are learning La Resistance. We helped e Ethiopia just a little bit. We've helped Republican Spain a little bit as well. And we are learning and preparing to go to war against the Finns in tomorrow's video. If you liked today's video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we ring in the new year in 1937. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!